You have my thanks. You're here from Spirius, right? The other one... is gone. <gasps> no way! It's really you. everywhere for you. Sorry, Muse. I didn't mean to worry you. Any of you. Oh, I wasn't worried. We knew you'd be okay. It's good to see you again. I wasn't worried about you. There's another Mila, you know, and I'm worried about her. It's a brave thing she did. Madam Chancellor. Because of her and her selflessness, we can proceed with ratifying the peace accord. King Gaius, Prime Minister Rowan. For foiling this assassination attempt, you have my most sincere thanks. You'd have done the same. Given what's occurred, perhaps you'd like to sign the treaty here and now. Harmony between Reza Maxia and Olympias would please me very much. Here on the ship? We've heard that many high-ranking Olympian officials stand against the treaty. Don't you worry. We'll employ this attack as our chance to press the offensive against them. No doubt many of them have ties to Exodus, and if we can't find proof, we'll make some up. Figuratively speaking, of course. Didn't hear what? I was just thinking aloud. But whatever you choose to do with that tidbit is up to you. You're certain, madam? I pay my debts in full, Prime Minister. And besides, if I were too much of a do-gooder, you wouldn't trust me. <laughs> Are we really that easy to read, madam? I so look forward to dancing the diplomacy two-step with you, your highness. By your signatures, the treaty is ratified. Very good. We've crossed the first bridge, at least. A bridge of mere paper and ink. The gap between this deed and the will of the people is not easily traversed. A difficult road still awaits us. Well, that's a threadbare cliché. <clears throat> However, it does ring true at the moment. Yes. If we keep setting one foot before the other, we can reach the ends of the Earth. You were a great help to me as well. It's not much, but consider this a small token of my thanks. Oh, just to be clear, this isn't a bribe. Mila, we have little time. You're right. Let's review the situation. Don't call her Mila! Every time I hear it, I want to barf! Mm. <sighs> 
Walker. Why'd you do it? Why did you let me fall back there? Even though she disappeared? It doesn't make sense. More than anything, she wanted to keep you safe. How would you know, huh? I just do. She was her own person, but she was still Mila Maxwell. We did sacrifice her. I can't deny it. But, by my sword, I swear to you that the loss of your Mila was not for nothing. Just a kid. Get to the point already, would ya? Fair enough. I'll say it more simply then. L, I want to go with you to the land of Canaan. I want you to see what I do there. <laughs> Sounds like you mean business. You speak of Canaan. What's going on there? The soul purification has reached its limit. In the abyss, I saw it with my own eyes. There are too many fractured dimensions. Canaan is the only realm across all dimensions where the reincarnation process occurs. Thus it stands to reason that the impurity which must be cleansed from all those countless dimensions must be flowing into Canaan. If we do not eradicate those dimensions, the soul purification process will break down. In other words, the fractured dimensions are not only dispersing soul energy, they're also concentrating this impurity. Wonderful. Sounds like either one is enough to destroy the world on its own. What happens if soul purification breaks down? The resulting poisonous miasma will probably overflow. Couldn't the Great Spirit Origin step in and stop that from happening? Only if he thinks humans are worth saving in the first place. I think that's the whole point of Origin's trial. So be it. We've no choice but to reach Canaan and pass the Great Spirit's trial for the sake of all humanity. It is clear what wish we have to make to Origin. Destroy the fractured dimensions so this one may live. We have detected that Maxwell is no longer blocking our passage. What kind of orders did Spirius give that Rideau maniac anyway? Did something happen with Director Rideau? <laughs> Just checking. That means we can hightail it to the dimension containing the last way marker, right? Correct. However, right now the dimensional abyss is highly unstable. It will be some time before you can enter the rift with any degree of safety. We'll contact you once we've made our preparations. Selfish bastards. I'm the reason. I unfortunately caused it when I harnessed mana out of the schism to take on a physical body. With the temporal crossroads gone, you merely did what you had to. It's taboo nonetheless. I'm using mana meant for preserving the world to maintain my physical form. Hold on. I can only remain in the human realm for a finite amount of time. Again. How's the cash dash? Is the dough rolling in? Are you having a gold rush? <laughs> I get paid by the pun, you know. <sighs> oh, come on, not even a snicker. Wait, is something wrong? <gasps> I, I had no idea. My boss just told me to give you a little push, so... I'm so sorry. We have a bit of time. We should prepare for our final trip into the breach while we await Vera's call. I miss you, Mila.